Well, good morning, folks. Off the beaten trail with Edward. This Wednesday, the 4th of October, 2023, in the South Historic District here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm um, going to take a little look at a very famous home here. It's known as the Wood Upjohn Home. And it's right here behind me. Now this home was built in 1877, 1878 by William A. Wood, who was a banker here in Kalamazoo. Now records show in 1850, Mr. Wood made $15,000 that year. But in 1870, it had grown to $75,000. So, in 77 and 78, you had this beautiful Victorian home built. It's the design is a regular Italian villa. You can take a little bit closer look of it here. Just see, in 1905, Mr. Wood sold this home to Dr. William E. Upjohn, the president of the Upjohn Company, the founder of the Upjohn Company. And he lived here for several years until 1913. He literally met and fell in love with the girl next door, Carrie Gilmore. And they were married in 1913. And there you have the Gilmore Upjohn connection. Well, Mrs. Upjohn, Carrie, she lived here in the house until the late 1950s. The house has changed hands several times. It is now owned by the same people who own and have preserved and run a wonderful bed and breakfast at a home that we're going to look at a little bit later here. And of course, these people's graves. I brought a little something with me today to give you some, uh, some method of gauging how old this house was when it was built <clears throat> and the banker Mr. Wood just think the same year he would have been able to go into his bank when this house was built and pick up some of these Eighteen seventy eight Morgan Silver Dollar. Right here. On the front wall of Mr. Woods home. Built the same year. We always got to take a look at the reverse on these two. There you have it. Thought that you folks would like to see that. A coin in a home. Coined and built in the same year. The Wood Upjohn home. Let's go take a look at the graves. Be right back. Okay, folks, we're here at Mountain Home Cemetery, Kalamazoo, Michigan. And take a little look here at. The grave. William E. Upjohn. We've seen his mansion a little earlier. Born 1853, passed in 1932.
and of course his wife. Well, this was Dr. Upjohn's first wife. Carrie is in another location. Dr. Upjohn's grave. The founder of the Upjohn Company. They uh, emerged, as it were, a few years back with Pharmacia, a European concern, known as the Pharmacia and Upjohn Company, and then they just changed it to Pharmacia. And they were acquired by Pfizer. So now here in Kalamazoo, we have the big Pfizer plant where all the vaccines are manufactured and shipped right out of here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. But if you look into the history of the Upjohn Company, um, my gosh, they've made literally thousands of products. Um, some of them controversial. Uh, and actually, you'd be wondering, well, what were they thinking? Well, they were in test phases back in the, the day, and certain things worked and certain things didn't, and they were going through the, the process like the other manufacturers were. But these guys are on the cutting edge of things and have always been. They wouldn't be Pfizer today. They would be gone A lot of people sent their children through college working at the Upjohn Company. A lot of people. That being said, we're going to take a look at another uh, gravesite and mansion here. We're going to run these backwards. We're going to show you the grave first, then go over to the mansion. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're back here in... Mountain Home Cemetery. I'll take a little look here at uh, first the grave of a, another very wealthy Kalamazoo entrepreneur and businessman back in the day. We're going to look at his, his mansion last. There's a who's who of Kalamazoo here in the cemetery. Um, I'll do a little video later on the grave of Governor Ransom as that kind of a tan colored stone between the two American flags straight ahead. He was governor of the state back in the day. Well, I'll talk about him later. Right now, we're going to talk about Frank Henderson. And here, is the Henderson gravesite. The graves of Frank, born 1841, he died in 1899. Mary Taylor Henderson, his wife, 1846-1907. And relatives. Spanish-American Spanish War. Frank was the owner and proprietor of a business that he grew here in Kalamazoo known as the Henderson Ames Company. Now, when he was just the Henderson Company, you want to say just the, he produced almost all of the regalia and uniforms and you name it 
for all the fraternal orders, the Masonic lodges, the Odd Fellows, the Knights Templar, the Shriners, you name it. He then merged with the Ames Company, who manufactured swords and other types of of gear and so forth that they would use in the Masonic Lodges and it became the Henderson Ames Company right here in Kalamazoo they employed over 500 people beautiful multi-story building downtown that no longer exists but his company became known worldwide and fraternal orders would place orders with him from all over the world. Well, his business grew. He decided that he was going to need a house, larger one than where he was living. And so, 1895, He built the Henderson Castle. Now he only lived there from 1895 to 1899. And we're going to see the castle in just a minute. It's a beautiful Queen Anne Victorian. Of course, dying in 1899. He was buried here within view of his castle at the time until the trees grew. We can look at one of the finials from here in just a second. Mrs. Henderson lived in the castle until 1908. She was the daughter of Kalamazoo pioneer James Taylor. And you can see right behind us here. We have Taylor Graves, and right there is a grave of her father, James, died in 1881, and her mother, and parts of her family. So, we have great links here, great family ties between pioneers of the Kalamazoo area and Mr. Henderson. Now let's walk over here just a second and see if we can get a little view here of the finial on top of one of the towers of the castle and you can see it right there above the trees. Okay? I know you can't wait to get over there and look at it. Neither can I. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're here on the grounds of uh, Frank Henderson's castle, part of the vineyard. One time they made their own wine here. And, of course, the trees are starting to change. This is the Henderson Castle. What do you think about that, folks? Take a little walk around here. It's now a bed and breakfast owned by the same people that own the Wood Upjohn House that we looked at downtown just a little while ago. This, I believe, is the wine tasting area. Uh, I see the kegs back there. I think that might be their wine cellar. I'm sure it is. People come here for weddings. And... Very interesting fact about this home and the property it's on. It cost $75,000 to build 
back in the day. $75,000 to build. You couldn't roof this place for that today. Inside is downright gorgeous. I don't have access today to the inside, but I've been through it from basement to the roof where they now have um, a hot tub up there. The master bathroom in Frank Henderson's, Frank Henderson's uh, private bedroom, this private bathroom, has 13 shower heads pointing from all directions. That's pretty cool. Mr. Henderson was a 33 degree mason and you name it, just about, he's held the position in Freemasonry. Went right along with his company of making the regalia and, and everything that you could think of um, to do with Freemasonry and the fraternal orders. That beautiful tower in Finials. The front porch. They had an automatic watering system and they had little tubes that would run to the plants out here on the porch and there was a reservoir inside that they could fill and it would automatically water the plants that were hanging here on these hooks. You see some plants hanging there right now. They have a little feature here. So this is what's known as a Queen Anne. And it certainly, certainly is. Now the steep hill here behind me, of course, no alcohol beyond this point, is you'd be rolling down the hill. Maybe. Look at this beautiful little porch out here. I'm glad to be able to bring this video to you today, show you the Henderson Castle and the Wood Gilmore property as well. Great little view here. Be right back with you. So folks, with that being said, thank you for joining me today on this little trip between two mansions and two grave sites here in Kalamazoo. Appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button, liking this video, and I sure appreciate all of you that have subscribed to my channel as well to be more where this came from. I'm here on the front lawn of the Henderson Castle. Have a great day.